Hey gaming fans, so today I got another deck profile I want to uh, talk about and this was one of those decks that I always kept trying to make it work and um, it took a while to get all the cards required to actually build this. In fact, I remember when these these cards first started coming out, there wasn't enough to actually build a deck but eventually they all came out and a lot of these cards, um, these are like the normal monster pendulum monster guys, um, they were like the card you got whenever a new set came out. It was like a special promo card you'd always get and so like almost every set that came out you'd get one of these different normal guys so eventually I was able to actually build the deck anyways I've been tinkering around with this and I thought you know I put it back together I've, I've made some modifications I thought let's let's show it off see what you guys think uh, see if there's any improvements or thoughts or uh, whatnot anyways let's get to the deck so I'm starting with um, two sea dragoons of draconia um, this guy's a, you know, he's a water monster. Attribute really doesn't matter in this deck. Um, not really, I mean, I don't, I, I haven't really put together a, a complete uh, extra deck. So maybe, you know, depending on the extra deck cards, you might you might care about the attribute. And his pendulum is seven. And uh, when, uh, when a monster is destroyed by battle, you could special summon one normal monster from your hand. Uh, you can only use the effect once per turn. So the cool thing is with pendulums is that you actually now have an effect on an actually non-effect monster. So these are normal monsters. You can see here there's no actual effect. These are just flavor text. So I play two of these because he's pretty weak in his attack. He's 200, uh, but he's got 2100 defense. So it's okay on your opening turn to, to set him. Um, and it's really important that he's got the seven there. You got to pay attention to the pendulum scales on these on this deck. Um, so the next one I have, right now I'm just trying out three Flash Knights. Nothing really exciting about this guy. Um, you know, he's a he's a warrior. Uh, so you can use warrior return, or reinforcements of the army, I should say, if you really want to. Um, I, don't, I didn't really put anything like that in here. Uh, 1800 attack, and he's got the seven. He doesn't have any effect, though, with his pendulum scale. He's just a beat stick, uh, which is why, you know, he could probably be substituted for some of the other, you know, level fours. Um, so I also have three of the Dragoons of Draconia. Um, this I remember getting in one of these, on one of the promos as well. It's a nice foily. Uh, two on the pendulum scale, so that's perfect. You know, you got two and seven. Uh, all these monsters are pretty much between three and six. So you could summon all of these monsters with a pendulum summon. Um, and this guy's got the pendulum effect once per turn. If a normal monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle, after damage calculation, add a level four or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. So that's really good. I mean, you can pretty much search out the ones you need when you need it. So I, I definitely play three of those. Um, I got a couple of one-offs. Uh, this is Vector Pendulum of the uh, Drag Drag Cover Lord. Um, his pendulum is negate all card effects your opponent's pendulum zones. I don't know how prevalent that is today because, you know, the, the pendulum decks, I don't know. I don't know if there's a lot of them going around anymore. Uh, but he's got three, so it's okay. I mean, and he's, he's 1850 attack. Weak defense, he's got zero. Um, and, uh, well, this one I actually have two of, and that's the Master Pendulum Draco Slayer. He's three also on the pendulum scale. Which is okay, because most of the time you're going to want to, uh, you know, summon your, your fives and six. Uh, once while this card is in your pendulum zone, you can target one card in the pendulum zone and destroy it. So it could come in handy if you just need to get rid of a card that's already been sitting in your pendulum zone. So you could put another one there, just to get its effect. Now on to the tribute monsters, or, well, you won't really be tributing. You, you don't have to, because you're going to be pendulum summoning these guys. Uh, so I got three full coats, full Fo cults cannon if that's how you say it uh, he's two on the pendulum scale which is you know needed and uh, he's a level five but uh, during the end phase if this card was activated this turn so you can only activate it on the turn he's he's you know um, played uh, you could destroy one face up spell or trap on the field you know I don't know if I'm gonna continue this at three I think I just have him there because of the two on the pendulum scale but not bad I mean if you're if your opponent is playing a lot of face up spell and trap cards well that's gonna be a problem for them <laughs> so I got three in there so I might play around with that uh, the next one sky dragoons of the draconia oh yeah this guy's 2200 as well uh, and this is another seven on the pendulum scale 
Uh, once per turn, when a normal monster you control inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. This is obviously a much better uh, card because it can destroy any card on the field. So I can get past a pesky monster or, you know, a spell trap, whatever. Um, and the seven helps as well. He's also a level five, 2200. Then I got two man dragons. Um, again, the uh, types of these monsters are all over the place. There's wing beasts, spell casters, dragons, plants. So I don't know if there's really anything you could do with the types. Um, I don't really focus on that as well, just like the attributes. Uh, so this is a, a two. He's kind of a plain vanilla, but he's 2,500 attack, so he's a pretty good beat stick. And then we got two of the Dragon Horn Hunter. Um, this one, all normal monsters, you gain two, 200 attack. Uh, also, you take no battle damage from battles involving normal monsters you control. So that's pretty good. I mean, if they try to run over you, try to OTK you with something really, really huge, uh, they're not going to do any damage. And he's a three on the pendulum scale. 2300 he's the also a, a, a six so if you're gonna be looking at doing any kind of like rank summoning uh, you got sixes you got fives you got fours and a few threes and uh, the last one Lance Fus 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 oh, this guy's a really weird name um, yeah if a normal monster you control attacks a defense position monster inflict piercing battle damage to your opponent um, I've been trying to think of a way to make this deck that I could actually, you know, uh, use the, utilize that, you know, the piercing, maybe put in some Book of Moons or something. I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But he's also 2,500, and he's got the uh, 7 on the pendulum scale. So that's pretty much it for the monsters. You can see it's pretty hefty on the monsters, and, and there's a reason for that. So let's go on to the rest of the deck. So currently I'm playing three Twin Twisters. Um... You know, just to get rid of opponent's stuff, but also in case I need to get rid of my own pendulum scales, uh, just to play a, a different one from my hand into that spot, because I might want to use the effect. So, you know, I, I just put three. I was debating on that or just a typical MST. Um, Summoner's Art. Now, this is a good card because it's pretty much, you know, the reinforcement substitute. This adds any level five or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. So you could grab whichever one you want that has the pendulum scale you need to complete your pendulum scale. So that becomes really important. The next one that can, can really make this deck, if, if you get this on the field, like turn one, and that's Heart of the Underdog, as long as your opponent doesn't destroy it, obviously. Uh, during your draw phase, if, if the card you draw is a normal monster card, you can draw one more card and show it to your opponent. Now what's cool about this card is if you draw a normal monster, you could reveal it, draw again. If it's another normal monster, you could reveal it, draw again, and you can keep going until you hit a spell or a trap. So this could actually boost your hand from like zero to about five if you get like a lucky strain of just monsters, monsters, monsters. And that's why I have a huge monster count. Uh, well, I try to have a huge monster count anyways. But uh, I got a few other cards in here to help with that, uh, this part of the underdog, because it's during your draw phase. So if you can manage to draw an extra card during your draw phase, um, then you can continue on with the little cycle of drawing. And so I threw in three common charity. Um, now you can do reckless greeds, you can do, you know, jar of greeds or any of those, like any trap that could, well, anything that can draw on an instant speed. Um, so I just picked this one because it really doesn't have too many drawbacks. It's literally draw two cards, then remove from play one normal monster card from your hand. Um, it's kind of like a lure of darkness in a sense, but it's for normal monsters. And your whole deck is normal monsters, so you should be able to get, you know, use this. And then get rid of something useless. And so what you would do is during your draw phase, you'd have this set. And if you draw, say, a spell or a trap, you flip this over, draw two more cards. And, you know, discard, just, you know, get rid of the normal monster and hopefully you drew a normal monster to continue on with your heart of the underdogs really cool combo there the next one is tyrants throws uh i think that's how you say that uh activate by tributing two normal monsters except tokens so your whole deck is normal monsters neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters so if you get this off early enough you could really disrupt your opponent um, they, they literally, unless they're playing normal monsters themselves, 
uh, they're kind of messed up. <laughs> so that's one of those cards you want to get out. And I just, uh, instead of playing three, I decided to use Skill Drain as, as a, another one because Skill Drain really doesn't do anything to this deck. Uh, unless you're going to, you know, um, rank summon something. Uh, other than that, you, you wouldn't do it if this was face up on the field anyways. Plus, if you had to, you can get rid of it with your, twi your Twin Twisters. And for the last two cards, I was really debating. I don't know. I, I threw in Mirror Forces for now. Um, I think I'd probably replace that with uh, Dark Hole, Regeki, something else. I, I'm just thinking it needs something to remove monsters off the field. Uh, just in case your opponent gets something out there that's pretty nasty. Uh, sure, you have Skill Drain, but I mean, there is, and, and there is a few other cards in here that can actually destroy cards on the field. But I just, I just felt that, you know, just to try and get rid of something or... Maybe you get a, a bad opening hand and, and you can't do anything. Maybe your, your ranks, uh, or sorry, your uh, pendulum monsters are all seven pendulum scale uh, or two and, and you can't do anything. So, I don't know. I, I'm playing around with that. This could be Torrential Tribute. This can be Regeki. It could be Dark Hole. Um, lots of other options. Anyways, that's the gist of this deck. I just wanted to show it off to see if people had any ideas, suggestions. Have you built something like this? Um, what would you take out? What would you put in? It's always fun to, to hear your thoughts and just have a little discussion over it. Anyways, hope you like the video. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.